Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be working on this strimmer. This one, I was planning, I always planned on seeing if it will ever run again. If there's any life in it, I, I, I'll give it a go. I'm out there testing for spark, it's good spark. The spark plug's actually pretty good too. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, uh, I know what's going wrong now. You see the bulb, the primer bulb, it's not a perishing and there's a bit of a cut on it. So that's letting, that little cut there, that's letting in air. And what's happening is, you can hear whistling, that's because both fuel lines perished. So I need to put new fuel, if I get fuel, um, with the current uh, situation, I can't really get fuel lines yet. But as soon as I can, I'll be able to get two fuel lines and a new primer bulb. So what I did was, just pop the, first of all I wanted to check for spark. I could pull it over and you could hear the compression. It was good compression. Once you feel that bit of a pull on it, you know it's just compression. Next, I always check for spark, so you make sure this is on, on the on, otherwise you'll never. Just disconnect your spark plug, uh, take it out, always art it onto a piece of metal, don't put on this plastic, it will never spark. And then once you see that little flash of light in between the spark plug, away you go. Out the carburetor, it's very clean in there, but uh, it was very dirty in the same time. I had to use uh, a bit of lubricant to try and clean out all the little jets but still at the same time it can't really use the carburetor but I'm going to show that it does run so um so if you want to see if a yoke does run even with even though you know the carburetor doesn't work you just get yourself a bit of fuel so I've, I've done a bit of a premix here what I like to do is I get a syringe a syringe and uh, I'll take up uh, a nice syringe of fuel I'll just get that syringe of fuel so this mix is actually 50 to 1, so it's a, uh, or 1 is to 50, so it's actually 500 mils of petrol with 10 mils of oil. So this actually runs on, it says in the tank, uh, 4 is to 1. So actually this is a higher ratio of oil, which is good for the piston, because the piston then will be a bit more coated in lubricant for the first time ever. So uh, always, I, I just turn it over until you see that the piston has gone the, on the downstroke. It just gives you that much, uh, that bit more uh, space to put in your fuel. So you just squirt it in, insert it like that. And there's your fuel in in, in the in the chamber. Um, get your spark plug. Put it in by hand first. It's it was on treads. It was just need to be tightened. It's need to be tightened too much. Now that's tight. Spark plug on or, or spark. As the original story of why I was actually going to get this was, was actually um, I was going to uh, take the pull cord off it to work on it for a lawnmower but I said hold on a minute I'm just going to see if this actually is good there's no point taking parts off something that's too good so yeah I'm going to put you down and uh, we'll see if she'll start yeah. so uh, she's setting this on uh, I'm not giving her a choke. I'll just start it or even just run it. She'll, uh, she'll actually. Oh! Christ. It's going in here. Oh, yeah. No, I might. So I think I've gotten her better now. She should, she should run now. She'll have a bit of smoke, so. Yeah. As you can see, she did run. So that's very good. I'm very happy with that. And uh, just to prove it to you as well. So hopefully, I might, might be in an upcoming video. I'll definitely have an update on it. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get the carburetor a few lines back on and then we can try and fix that wire head. That's no problem. We'll put a new wire wire reel on it. We'll see if she can cut some cut some overgrowth. I have a lot of overgrowth that I can cut with it, especially with the wire one of these would be great. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I know it was a bit of a short one, but I'll try to keep it short and sweet and uh, yeah, there'll be more videos like these to come. Right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. And and take care. And thanks for watching.